This is Ildiko from Astrology Crafts, and I'm here again with another video on as, about astrology. And this time I would like to talk about how astrology can really help your life. Astrology is just such a great tool um, to, to many, many things. And the, the three main aspects of it is going to, one of them is the timing of the major events in your life. The second one is to deep dive into the person who you are, both psychologically and physically. And the third one is to define your life purpose. Now, before we start uh, with a little bit of history, I would like to ask you to please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'd love to connect with you guys and I'd love to know what aspect of astrology is your favorite or what is the astrological subgroup that you are really really interested in and i shall make more videos about that but first let's just uh, talk about a little bit about the history of astrology so it is believed that ancient mesopotamian astrologers were observing the sky as far behind as far back in time as 2000 bc and there are written evidence left over to us since the 1500s bc they believed that the sky and the earth were interconnected, which I believe that they were right. They observed how eclipses correspond with major events such as a plague of a nation or maybe an invasion of a nation, uh, a nation, maybe a death of a king, which was much the representation of that country. Now, at this time, we, they, we, they can only study mundane astrology which is mundane astrology really is making prediction about the worldly events or certain geographical regions, um, events. And so that's what mundane astrology is all about. Now, individual astrology is a little bit different. That's when we talk about the natal chart. Uh, and that developed in the 5th century, and the along with the 12 zodiac signs. And and the knowledge that they were all 30 degrees each. As we know, the, cir the circle is 360 degrees. So if we divide that by 12, each of the signs will have exactly 30 degrees to occupy. Now, from then on, in the first century, we can talk about Hellenistic astrology, which is very much connected to ancient Greece. And we know how the ancient Greek culture had just made had such a great impact, especially in astronomy and astrology. All the gods and goddesses, they had been connected to a planet. And more interestingly, uh, all the gods and goddesses and their nature, it reflects the astrological uh, nature of that particular sign uh, of that particular planet. Now, later on, we can talk about Egyptian astrology as well, big, uh, and that was pretty much how the house system developed in astrology. And after that, we can talk about the medieval astrology, Renaissance astrology, and later on, the 17th century, the English astrology. And after that, really, we really we are talking about modern astrology, especially since um, the outer planets have been discovered with the development of the technology. But so much about history. And now let's go back to the aspects of the importance of astrology. So the first one, as I said, it was the timing of your major events in your life. Now, timing is everything, as we know. Time, there's time to plant your seeds and there's time to harvest. And you cannot interchange that. Timing is that compelling force apparent when chance and coincidence collide. It is observed in universal order that the season which arrive and recede, said Carl Jung. He was very much connected to astrology. Now, without good timing, we cannot really succeed. Astrology is a great, great tool for that. It is so clear cut in astrology. There is no mishmash about it. When the time is right, an astrologer can see that easily. You can reach your goals with less of an effort if you get the timing right. And it's not to say that the law of attraction doesn't work. It does. 
but it's not going to work before astrologically the timing is going to be right. Now, the other very important aspect of astrology is the journey of your self-discovery. If you are in the self-development uh, journey, astrology is an absolute must. It can talk about your, about your emotional well-being. I just made recently a video about your emotional, uh, emotional well-being. If you would like to dive a little bit deeper, I will put a link down below. Uh, it can talk about your trauma and blockages. And these are things that you are, you know, you have you have no awareness of. So what other than astrology can help you with that? I mean, yes, you can certainly go to uh, therapy, but that will take, take a much longer time and much, much more money than just going to an astrologer and find out what are your emotional needs? What are your traumas and blockages? What are your talents and gifts? Sometimes we are aware of our talents and gifts as well, but in many, many cases, we're not. Or maybe there is a blockage that blocks us uh, to get to our talents and gifts. Now, the other one, the other major, major group was the life purpose. About the life purpose, um, I just mix this into um, the journey of self-discovery because they really... They overlap, to be perfectly honest. So the life purpose, sometimes you know what's your life purpose when you are six, and sometimes you know, you know that when you are 40, and sometimes you never even find out what's your life purpose, and then you struggle throughout your life trying to find out why on earth was I born to this world. Now, Astrologically, as astrologically, that's very easily seen um, from your chart as well. Now, of course, we, astrologically speaking, we can find we can see your potential career, which is based on your personality and your talents and gifts. It's not something that you would like to do, or yes, yeah, perhaps it is something you would like to do. It's not something that that your parents are forcing you to do. It's something that you it something that might be your life purpose as well sometimes they are intertwined now you can find out how you relate to others right where where is the area that you need to work on you need to work on some areas in your life in our lives which is our life lessons pretty much we need to work really really hard and where are your challenges where did you come from? This is pretty much um, the astrology about uh, your past life. What did you bring with your past life? What sort of karma did you want to fulfill in this life? And I will take you to where are you heading? What is that you need to experience? What is that you are? What is the path that you're unfamiliar with, but you were born to kind of go towards? Now, there's another aspect of astrology called relocational astrology, which is a perfect tool to see where is the best place for you to live, or maybe where is the best place for you to just to just to take a holiday, right? Now, in this journey of self discovery, there's another important, important, very, very important aspect, which is your house, which is the more physical aspect of astrology. Um, Health and medical astrology. Now, according to Dr. Lauren Cassell, who is a philosophy and science lecturer at the University of Cambridge, uh, astrology and medicine is like a long, long marriage. She studied the earliest surviving medical case books, and there are actually scientific evidence of how the planets, when you were born, can affect your health, longevity, the timing of an illness that would lead to further prediction or maybe an outcome of an illness. Will you be healed? Will you be healed 100% or will you die from it? So that's very important aspect of astrology. And uh, to be honest, medical astrology is near enough science uh, as well. Now, that's a big debate whether astrology is a science or not. 
is astrology just a language of the gods not just is astrology a language of the gods that you know with astrologers who are trying to you know um translate it to us is astrology an art a piece of art i think astrology everything is a little bit of this and a little bit of that or everything in all together because i cannot say astrology is not a science when we know that the moon and the sun have such a major effect in our life in our physical body if you think about it the moon um the effects of the moon are you know the ebbs and the flows everybody knows that it's scientifically has been proven that the ebbs and flows are connected to the gravitation not pull of the moon now as much as the earth is covered with 75 percent of water our body as well covered uh, not covered but our body as well consists of 75 percent of water so if the moon affect in the ocean certainly affects us as well right now the sun the sun is determines everything the sun is the giver of, of life the sun is determines our time our our seasons uh, our our time to go to sleep our time for vitality for being active um so we can't say the sun it doesn't affect us right so if the sun and the moon is affecting us why wouldn't mercury why wouldn't jupiter why which is the greatest planet um what in the solar system why wouldn't saturn and all the rest of them why wouldn't they affect us just because newton wasn't able to um to prove that there is uh, an effect of it it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist that's my personal opinion but the less the rest i leave it to you okay another aspect of astrology how can astrology help you is relationships how you relate to your one-to-one -one relationships or how you relate to uh, how you relate to your loved one how you relate to your friends how you relate to your child to your parents to your co-workers to your neighbors even to your authority figures all is there clear and simple in astrology what are your hidden needs in terms of relationships that goes back a little bit intertwined with your emotional needs uh, but as i these are very important aspects of uh, of a relationship so yeah these are intertwined again with um, the emotional part of it what are the blockages that can hinder your relationships uh, and of course just like where the hidden needs the hidden blockages we are not aware of when is a good time to begin a relationship when is a good timing for that as i said timing is everything right when will a relationship will end most likely that again goes back to timing what where and what are the 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 areas that we are projecting onto your uh, onto your partner or onto your relationships sometimes a hidden part in ourselves that we tend to project onto the other one and then we can say safely we say oh no it's not my fault it's your fault no it's not true once you passed the first set in return which is the age of 27 you start to mature into an adult well you should be maturing into an adult around that age and then that means you are taking responsibility of what happening to us and this is a major major part of it oftentimes there are hidden hidden blockages hidden traumas that we are projecting onto another person and and then so we can safely blame the other one but that's not how it is really and if you're an adult you are more aware of it but astrology can really really easily pinpoint the problems regarding to uh, these issues now where do you need to heal in order to have a good relationship that's something again you're not aware of now also there is another aspect of astrology which is uh, it's just more for fun 
and more for maybe gossips is the celebrity astrology. That is something um, because celebrities are such a public people, their chart is out there. So every any astrologer can look into them and they can talk about uh, their personalities just as it was somebody really close to us. Um, so that was my take on how astrology can help uh, with your life. Astrology basically is an, an awareness. And everybody says, well, not everybody, this is the truth that awareness is basically everything. Basically, it's awareness is 80% of solving our problems. Because once you bring it to your consciousness, you then you took the first, which is the biggest step in order to heal. And so basically, astrology is the perfect tool to find out within a short astrological consultation, an hour, one and a half hour, depending on, on, on astrologer, they can pinpoint all these areas for you. So thank you for listening to this video. I hope this really helped and took you closer for, for a better understanding of how astrology can help in your life. If you like my videos, I would like to ask you to share, subscribe, and comment down below what are the areas of astrology that you are really interested in. Thank you for watching and I shall see you later on. Bye.